Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use JSSU online portal. It is from our college end uh, to see your notes, download it, read it, uh, write your exam and for the parents how to check your words, uh, attendance, marks, etc. Everything. Okay. So this will be for a smaller one. I just wanted to uh, show it uh, online how to use it. So if you have any doubt, you can call me anytime. I'll be showing my uh, phone number, email address, WhatsApp numbers after this. Okay. So yeah, first of all, uh, what are all uh, the things we are going to study here is uh, this is JSSU online. Why we are using it? Why we use this JSSU online? Okay. So it is for the learning materials first, then I am going to see something called marks and attendance and then I am going to see exam and evaluations details using this JSSU online. So how to go about it, uh, we will see. First of all, whenever you have uh, enrolled and you got your admission in this college, we are going to send one uh, email for you. We call it as a welcome email here. So first you have to go to your registered email address and you are going to check your email. Okay. So who will send this? See, JSSU online support will be the sender of this. Okay. Now I'll show you in the next screen. So you have to open the mail and you have to note down the user ID there. Okay. So there'll be a user ID. It will start with JS. Okay. So something like this JSS 201162, like this will be there. You have to note it down. Then what you have to do is you have to click on the link. The link itself is given there. You are going to click on www.jssuni.edu.in. This is our university mail address. You are going to click on this. So you will be taken to a next screen. Okay. So how to do this? I am showing it. Okay. So when you open your mail, okay, this is my mail. You are going to open your mail. See for JSSU online support. Welcome to JSS uh, University online. So you will be getting one mail how it look like. Okay. So it will look like like this. Your login ID is this one. It starts with the JSS here or JS. Okay. It starts with this. This is your user ID. Okay. There are two ways of getting enter, enter into the JSSU online. One is using this ID and another one is with this with your registered email id but we will recommend you to use this alone okay right next you will click on this jssu link so you will be transferred to a web page here okay now what you are after this web page what you are going to do okay so the web portal www.jssuni.edun is a college website and there will be a column like this okay it reads JSS her student bar parent bar staff portal. You have to click on this icon. Okay. Now there are three options will be there. One is for staff, another uh, one is for student, another one is for the parent. So definitely you have to select the student option here. Type in your user ID. Then this is very important here. You are going to click on forget password. Why we are doing this is instead of giving you a password or mail, it is not uh, secured. So what we have done is you give forget uh, password, then a password reset mail will come. Okay. So first go on JSS uni.edu.in, then click on JSS her student parent staff portal, then select the option as student and type your user ID and click on forget password and click submit okay this i'm going to show it in the next screen see what uh, what i'm going to do is see uh, once jss www.jssuni.edu.in uh, uh, will take you to this page this is the opening page you are going to click on this icon here so you'll be taken inside so first you have to select the student here then i'm going to type my user id which i have uh, marked it already uh, copy and paste it whatever it is okay don't type any password here instead of that you should type forget password this is a very very important point you have to remember so once you have done this you will be a student you have done it you click on submit without typing a password you are going to submit it here okay so now <clears throat> what happens here an email will come to your mail address already okay so that's 
will contain the password reset instructions, password, everything, you will get it in the mail. Okay. So, now when you click on this, you will be receiving this mail. So, this contains your password. Very, very important. There will be some special characters. You have to note it down always. Very, very important. Now, take this password now. Okay. So, now you have got user ID as well as the password. So, what you are going to do? You can go once again to JSS, uni.edu.in. This is not the link. You have to personally type it or previous screen. You have to go JSS uni. Okay. As usual. So, what I do here? After checking this email, follow the same procedure to log in again. Here, you will type your password now. Okay, you got the password with you. Now you are going to type. Type your username and the password. Type your username and password. Click on login. So, now once you get inside, so it will ask you to change your password. You are going to change the password with the password policy. See, always one capital letter and small letter with uh, special characters, numbers. This will be always good for you to do it. Okay, just like a Gmail account. So, then what I am going to do it here. Now, I am typing the username. I am typing the password here. Very, very important. You should know. So, I should take it as student here. So, now I am going to click on login. So, how your login will look like? So, your login will look like like this. Okay. There are some boxes which will contain. I am going to leave all these three boxes. So, we'll, uh, it is not necessary at present. Okay. So, one is for assessment and MCQ test, attendance, uh, digital contents. Okay. Now, feedback, library. So, so many things are there. Okay. So, we will see one by one what it is. Yeah. So, once these are all the thing you are uh, going to see in your uh, dashboard, what I will call it as a dashboard, the boxes will show the details with respect to your subject and the class. Okay. Now, what are all the things? Uh, okay. So, uh, in order to see sessional exams, see first, uh, first of all, we go to assessment. Okay. So, what is this assessment? Okay. This MCQ test will be having options here. So, descriptive tests. Uh, is just writing it on a paper and you are going to upload it. Okay, MCQ test optional. Uh, you will be having four options. You have to select nothing to write it. Whenever there is a descriptive test, you are going to write it on a paper and you are going to upload it. Okay, so what are all the things present here? We are going to see. So now once you are you attended the test, you will test number. What is the marks? Uh, how to do okay see what are all the uh, correct answers all these things will be displayed here uh, see when we give the login to parents parents also can view your what's marks everything here okay so that's about uh, mcq tests okay mcq tests next i'm going for attendance okay so how the attendance will be shown to you okay yeah now here first you have to do the student attendance summary then you have to select the uh, session here okay so which semester you belongs to then uh, the workload type you are going to see whether it is a theory or a practical all these things will be displayed inside this okay this is for the attendance option okay so now when we go for digital content this is what is very important now the teachers will be uploading some notes for you okay so the notes how to download it for uh, reading purpose okay so they'll be uploading some videos and notes pdf files PowerPoint presentations, everything will be present inside the digital content. Okay, right. So, how your digital content will look like? Okay, when you go inside a login, go for this box here. Okay, whenever there is a box like this, that means the teacher has uploaded. Okay, so here you cannot see the uh, see the um, uh, box here. So there is no notes here. For this chapter, there is a note. Okay. Now, when you click it, you will be having notes. Okay. So, you are going to download it. Okay. So, your notes will look like this. Okay. Now, report writing PDF I have given. This is the study material. Okay. There are two types. One is class notes and study material. Okay. So, as per the teacher's wish, they can upload whether class notes or in study material or sometimes they will upload both. Okay. So, just click on this. It will be downloaded to your mobile or your laptop so that you can study. Okay. This is about... Thing. Okay, now we'll move on to library. See what is uh, what are all the options which are available inside the library. Okay, how to go about it? When you click it, what happens here? You'll be given some uh, boxes or options here. You are going to select it here. Okay, so type of material. What is this? Books, theses, all these things will be there. Okay, you are going to click it. You can see after this. You just click on go. So you'll be 
given a box here or the statements uh, which are all the books what are all the books how many books are available whether it is available in the library or not so in due course we are going to give it as a rack number also you can see from your house the book is available in which rack so that you can find it out okay so this is about library okay so now uh, uh, this is what is the brief uh, JJC online once you have to log in uh, get the username and password uh, log in inside and wait for the teachers to upload some notes you can study you can attend it okay so if you have any it related query so you can call my number nine double four three four seven double six nine eight and uh, my email is this one this is my whatsapp number whenever you have some query about this one you can always call me okay right have a good day thank you very much